Hello everyone and welcome back to the Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Series. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 12. It's the year 2348 and we can go back to war with the Machine Empire. They are, however, equivalent to us in fleet power now, which is a little bit of a concern. So, I'm, uh, I'm not too excited to jump in. There's a machine fleet that have 14,000 in power. We have one there that has an 11. So it's really going to be about can we crush this fleet? And then once we can, we'll probably be okay because the rest of their fleets look kind of small. So we're going to keep building up this fleet here. Research complete. Fifth wave fleet. City district housing is now up. We get an upgrade to the Ripper Auto Cannon if we would like. That's 15,000 for research. Mining station output is not going to take very long. Do we have an industry person? Do not. Nobody to recruit, so our current person will take care of that. <laughs> this right here. I'm going to take a look at this fleet. This is the fifth wave. I want to add some designs. Let's see. What do I have? things and they just don't work. You hit add design the fleet and it, it's not adding it so oh it's not adding this one. It only has the two corvettes in there. So not sure why it doesn't work sometimes. Oh it's got and what does it have? It says construction one of a hundred. How does it have that many ships in here? Construction Seems complete. A little weird. Those destroyers. Okay, so if I want to do this, that's why. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay. Research complete. Do that. Oh, and we have maximized our uh, influence, so we should probably spend some of it. Fleet command limit can go up. Oh, climate restoration. That's what I want. I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to sell a few less of those. We're going to look at what we want to spend on our edicts. Here, diplomatic grants, information quarantine. Put strict checks on the flow of information, better preserving local cultural identity. Governing ethics attraction is 50%. Declare saint, monthly unity, 15%. I'm grabbing that. Okay, I'm doing that. And diplomatic insult Construction from complete. Folks. Okay. Construction complete. Was this thing? Okay, all these ships are being routed to here. We'll move them there. And we've maximized for money. So whenever I grab max money, something I like to do is just buy to spend it. I like to buy secondary resources. Complete. I consider these um, kind of like real estate investment. It's like, I'll buy these goods, and if I ever need fast cash, I can always sell a bunch of these. So it's like, it's these are like my savings accounts. These colony established. Resources. All right, colony. We got this one. It's the Food Planet Raman. That's a good name for a food planet. We're going to choose the colony designation. We're going to give it some distribute luxury goods and food to help it grow faster. We can provide it with a couple of jobs and food districts. And I think I want to make this a research plan. 
So actually, I don't like the brackets I meant to do. This is always for my own notation so I can scroll through here and find things easier. Because the only designator it has right here Construction is, the, complete. is this one. And it's not useful to me on the species screen. I can't see it when I'm doing adaptations. And I can't tell that this, for instance, is a research world. And that's what I want to build on it. So our planets are doing good. We don't have a lot of un un unemployment. We have a lot of stuff to build. This needs a ministry of production. And this Trion is finally in better shape. That's good. Okay, and it has a... a fast robot that needs a job. So, we'll build two of those districts. I don't know why I built a generator district. Oh, I didn't. I, I think that the AI did that. I'm going to replace that with the egg district, city district later. Minerals, please do a few less. This guy's huge fleet here. The Cohex Research machine complete. fleet. So that's going to be... We can take him out. Be in a lot better shape. Energy credits and research station output. Colony development speed. I'm going to get that just to take it off the, the board. Because it doesn't take a long time to research it. Oh, we can... This is a tundra world over here. We can terraform this to a continental world. So we'll do. This world has been terraformed. We'll colonize this. And this is this has a ton of housing, so this is gonna be a great planet to put something. Cool. I'll either do research or alloys on that sucker. I need to find out what's going on in this system too, but we gotta do that. Construction complete. So, Construction complete. Enigmatic cash. Research Second. complete. Mining station output. L gate insights. Fusion missiles destroy our build speed and cost. Those are always nice. Plasma thrusters are on their way to being completed. How many L gate insights do I have? Three of seven. So I'm going to spend that research on that. Do I have anybody doing void craft? Principality of Gilles Le France started to integrate the Mitron Republic, so they vassalized him and now they're gonna to integrate them. So where is the Gilles Le France? Great Krath. Principality of Gilles Le France and they're gonna integrate the Democratic Mitron Republic down here. That'll take them a little bit of time. We've maxed out our uh, naval capacity. I'm gonna look at this planet. It's got one of the two temples on there. This planet has a temple and a pneumistic shrine, so we should give it these what do we have now? These are the bastions. Where is this one at? It's right there. Research complete. Okay. Alright, we got some extra ships here. You guys. Construction complete. Could probably both go down there. Construction complete. Logistics office or a disruptor, that one shields hit points. And then let's build some defenses. Colonization in progress. We can put nine defense platforms on here. What do we have here? The Foreign Empire, the Ukavangos people, Republic, 
grabbed Chisillian. Where is that at? Construction complete. Oh, up there. So they're they're starting to make claims for that. Well, that's dangerous. That's dangerous for us. Um, cheapest thing to build to research here is either shield capacitors, <coughs> excuse me, or more physics research. So we'll do that. We built too many ships for the upgrade. So we'll do this. We'll start creating a, another fleet there. All these guys, what do we do? No orders. Okay. Everybody move to here. Sometimes when the game is making upgrade ships, it gets the wrong number of them made for some reason. So then you end up with stuff like that. We've got 22,000, which should be enough to destroy this here. And then, and then it's on. Like Donkey Kong. So, I'm over my limit. So we kind of need to go to war. Construction complete. What about this bastion? It doesn't have any defensive platforms, does it? Okay. Same thing then. Much like one of everything. There we go. Build those. This up here is another choke point we can always fall back to if things go bad. So, since I have the stuff, we'll build it all these different kinds of weapons and things like that. This is also a choke point. And so is this one. Upgrade those. Ethics changes on Sol 3. There's been a sweeping change in the way the primitive humans since we began aggressively observing the members of their species all over Sol 3. Their hatred of their abduction shuttles has made them extremely mistrustful of anything they consider foreign while at the same time strengthening the bonds they feel towards their own culture and species interesting that's over i think over here oh, somewhere over here soul human civilization is at least one military station in this system and they're in the early space age construction complete you guys are all over here you can all join together you're a small fleet, but you can do great things. So you're gonna move over there, and I'm gonna give you a leader. You have something right there, perfect. And another tradition, great. So we can do Privy Council, ruler cap increased by two. It gives us another ascension perk, which is gonna be really important here, so. Uh, our technology is too arcane for others to reverse engineer. Defender of the Galaxy, damage to endgame crashes factions by 50%. Um, Interstellar Dominion, Grasp the Void, I kind of really want. Imperial Prerogative, Jared Destiny, what else do I have? What else are some options that I didn't have? Here? World Shaper, Voidborn. Master Builders, Galactic Wonders, Archaeology Project. Hmm. I thought there was something else in here. I'm looking. What did I choose? Okay, technological Ascendancy, Engineered Evolution, Galactic Force Projection, Evolutionary Mastery. I thought there was one, one more here that, that allowed you to get some better damage to certain enemies starbase influence cost and claim cost starbase capacity consecrate worlds mastery of nature imperial prerogative don't care about that unique duration transcendent learning shared destiny the colossus project yes flesh is weak synthetic evolution that's not it mind over matter transcendence world shaper eternal vigilance starbase damage starbase hit points that's not the one. 
Master Builders. Mega Construction Build Speed. That's nice. Galactic Wonders. Okay, so the one I'm thinking about is... Obviously, it doesn't exist. I'd like to get Defender of the Galaxy up. But Grasp the Void might be more important. I'm going to grab Grasp the Void. So I can get more star bases. Because more star bases can put Anchorage on, which can drive this number up. And it can also get me then um, collecting trade from this whole route over here. So what do I have for the space station? Let's see. If I collect trade from there, I'd have to put a trade station here to collect from two away. I might have to start doing that, but I might wait to do it until after we've gone to war with these guys, because um, pulling trade in this direction might be more important. Let's wait for this little ship to get over here. And then we'll... Incoming transmission. Sneak attack. Non-aggression <laughs> act from the principal of Gila French. Sure. I'll take that. It's got Numinestic Shrine on it. I need the temple. temple. Mining world. This has two more jobs. We've mined the heck out of it. All we can do is provide another quick job and raise that up. These cost crystals to make up, so right now for crystals we're at 12. We're earning 12 crystals per month, we're earning 12 ultimates per month, we're earning 14 exotic gases per month. I like to always have these in the black, preferably over 10 each. This starting to run short on civilian industries. The Union of PS Traditionalists. And the Union of the Vool, United Vool Autocracy has become more spiritualist. Complete. That can only help us when they become more spiritualist. I really want to spend the time on this. Paradise Dome. Oh, we're going to need that. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do the genetic resequencing thing. Um, on our planets. So let's take a look at this. Continental Worlds. Is this the one that we can do? Did, did we just get the tech that lets us terraform to the world? We did. Terraform that to a continental world. Okay, and then if we go here, tropical world. Alpine. And we need ecological adaptation to terraform the worlds we're already on. Okay. Incoming okay, transmission. Almost there. This migration <laughs> treaty proposal, sure. We'll take some of your Construction people. complete. We will take them. Try our... Incoming thing. transmission. This is a research planet, and it needs a... Needs the research institute. As soon as the capital is upgraded, we can put it on there. Defensive pact invitation, sure. We need a new election to elect a new person. And it's good because we just about came up with maximum influence here. So, what do we have here? Ship build cost, upgrade, upgrade, and build speed. We're about to go to war, so we're just going to pick that guy. I don't even care what the rest of his stuff is. Oh, architectural sense. And starbase. Oh, great. Perfect. We're about to go to war, so he gets to be the new leader. Research complete. Researchers. Now we have plasma cannons. I want that. He's almost there. As soon as he's there, he's Incoming the guy who's going to run over here and take all this. Okay, so research pact. Sure. Borders closed by the Skinnery Commonwealth. The Ud Kavango People's Republic has declared the Vool arrival. Um, <clears throat> these guys. Can we get them form a commercial pact? Can we get them to do invite and federation? No, not yet. And what about the Vool? Right, in a federation. Not quite yet. They're not there. Okay. Well, we're about ready to... Construction complete. We're about ready to go to war. What's he doing right there? That's a problem. 
How many? 280? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Cruiser. Cruiser. Two of those destroyers. Build that. I want you guys all over here. I want you protecting anybody trying to come this way. There's there's not a lot of large fleets. There's two thousand. There's a two thousand fleet there. That one right there. Now if we get this big huge hauling fleet over here fast enough, we can Research take all complete. this stuff. Construction complete. Construction complete. gain. Here we can upgrade housing again. Kind of like to get the star fortress though. Colony established. Colony is complete. Awesome. We can do colony stuff and decisions. Food, growth. This is a mining colony, clearly. I love it when it's really clear cut about what it should be. This is a mining colony. That makes it easy. This one upgraded its capital, and so now you can put the research institute on it. Um, <coughs> this planet needs what? It's got four people? Okay. Demolish all this stuff. For a bonus. Demolish. Research complex is ruined. Figure out the rest of this. Time. Okay, are we ready to do this then? Almost. These guys, 280. What do we have? At least one of our monthly trades is not correct yet. Construction complete. Construction complete. Give them a leader, preferably somebody who can do C a long way. Leader lifespan. We'll take that. And we lost a research person. We have statecraft. Take him. He's busy commanding. So this side should be... Where is it? Bioforge Prime. Give me... Oh, we have a physics person. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let's see what the advantage is. He's got 33% if we put the physics person on it. 42%. That's very nice. He's got no orders. He needs orders. He needs to do assist research there. This one needs a guy. Assist that research. Okay, are we ready? Are you ready? Construction complete. Okay, you guys head there. Your 2K should be more than enough to handle this. Uh, we don't want to lose all these minerals. Don't want to buy those and cancel that. Alright, we ready to go to war finally? I think so. Let's do this. Let's do it. Exterminators. End threat. Invite attackers. Principality of Gilu Fren. Invite them. Or the vote for the declaration of war against them failed. Oh, because the Gilu Fren didn't want to go. Construction complete. Well, guess what? I'll do it without any Construction anybody, complete. Diplomatic response. Initiate an extermination process. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We're at war. And... I want you guys to go in here. In fact, I just want you to take this fleet out. Here they come. They're, mo they're on the move. And you guys can stand pat right there. Actually, can you get the system? What's the... It's 2.8 for this uh, 
space station and we don't have enough, we'd, we'd get mowed down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, add ship designs to fleet. I got that one. I'm going to add this and this. start building a big old fleet right now so they can go attack that so those guys are on the attack this right here go fetch that this right here go do this go boink 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 oh no you're gonna hit the shift button there Holmes do this again ah well there there, there, there. Let's see how that works out. Oh, this planet needs a, a production. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be the big one. If we win this. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Construction mess. complete. It's a mess, and here comes Hostile another one of their little fleets. Detected. It's a mess. The Paradise Dome. I want this genetic resequencing thing. Unlike Starbase Building Command Center. Ship fire rate plus 5%. Ecological adaptation. That's the one. That's doing its job. That, that's it. We did it. We got that. Oh. Okay, here's what we need to Hostile do. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, split the fleet. Now well, let's see what their numbers are. Their fleet power is inferior compared to us. There's the Devil's Maw. Okay, the smaller fleet is going to go take the Devil's Maw. The bigger fleet is going to go here. I think the smartest thing for these guys to do. Oh, look, these guys are engaged. They're losing. Move them quickly. These guys can go attack this. Ultra land armies. How many armies are on there? They have 136 garrison, 137 garrison. And we have 445 troops. We're going to give them a general. Leader lifespan or army morale. Uh, leader lifespan. I'm gonna die in battle anyways. That's what happens to most of my guys. The Devil's Ma is this. Hey guys, Devil. Are you building ships? Yes, you are. Good. Construction complete. Get these punks. Let's get them. Get them. Hostile station engaged. Admiral gains a trait. Good. I mean, you guys are 2.8, and what do we have down begun. here? Those are small. And those are six, so that's a problem. Okay. And they're moving that direction. Um. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to fall back to here. And we're gonna pump your numbers up as well. What are you, what's your total? 24? That's no, no bueno. Reinforce your fleet, buddy. And let's see what we got here. Are all of these star bases got enough? Star bases. Star bases. Okay, you guys, go there. Yeah, chase them there. That's perfect. Construction complete. What's going on here? You gonna win that? Spaceport under attack. Oh, 
He's got a 6,000 fleet there, that's no good. You need to back up to there. Construction what the complete. heck? Did I lost a fleet over here? They got an 11,000 one there? And you're down to three? Oh my gosh, we're getting smoked. Oh, frustrating. Frustrating. Construction complete. We're getting smoked. Darn it. It's too spread out. It's too spread out. Hostile fleet detected. It's just too spread out. It's too many exits and too many entrances. Can't cover the whole thing with the fleets I have. This fleet right here is my it's not even it's six K, it's not even my last good one. This over here is eleven. All we can do is hope to grab a couple more systems back. We suffered casualties. Um Hmm. I gotta call it. I can't I can't survive this. This fleet power is equivalent and I can't survive it. Uh, I don't wanna settle for the status quo. Darn it. Our war exhaustion is high already. Okay. What are his fleets like? These do shield and some whole damage. He's got those are all little tiny destroyers. But a mix of weapons. He's just got better technology than us. Look, he's got fours across the board. He's got a bunch of corvettes, some cruisers. He's using some missiles, quantum missiles. Okay. What does surrender look like? It will automatically accept this peace deal. What does this give us, though? They get Med Karesh. Yeah, they get too much stuff. We can't let them do that. Hostile fleet detected. I should have paid attention to their defense platforms. I think. We're getting smoked. We're getting smoked. Construction complete. Oh no, we're too small. We're Hostile told, yeah, fleet I can't, detected. I can't. Can't Hostile fleet detected. Oh my gosh, that was a disaster. We have lost control of the galactic market station. What? Your empire has been destroyed. Well, I didn't know that that would happen. I didn't know that if I surrendered to them, it would surrender my whole empire. It surrendered everything. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, that was certainly entertaining. I want to do a little bit of a post-mortem now on this episode because it ended far too soon. And there will be another Let's Play series for newbies coming right after this where I will make better decisions and we'll get to the end. Because we missed out on all the really fun stuff like L Gates and uh, Endgame Crisis. But let's talk about what happened here. I'm leaving this up because I think it's just as important for new players to see what not to do as it is what to do. And here at the end, you can see I was way too aggressive. I attacked this empire when I already knew that they had battleships and I did not have that technology. I already saw that their fleet strength was back up to equivalent with mine. I knew it was going to be a dogfight. And I left my choke points. And once I saw I was overwhelmed, I just 
did everything wrong. Um, at a minimum, I should have repeated back to my choke points with all my defensive platforms on the star bases and tried to hold court there. That's why you set those choke points up so that you have a safety mechanism. And I didn't do that. And I didn't really micromanage my ships as far as offense and defense and making sure that I had the best setup possible going forward. I just got way too aggressive with this itch to take these guys out. And the thing is, they're a, a gestalt empire. They're a machine exterminator. Everybody on the galaxy board hates them and wants to take them out and will take them out if they think they're weak. So we didn't have to rush that. I didn't have to rush this. I needed to just wait until I knew the odds were far in my favor and had more than two fleets so that it could handle everything they could throw at me and then go storm them. So this is an error in haste and planning that uh, definitely won't be happening in the next episode because I want to get you all through to the end where we can do things like elegates and mega structures and endgame crisis because that's that's some of the fun stuff. That's why I love Stellaris. So a little bit of a postmortem. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for thanks for watching me make a complete fool of myself here at the end. I hope everybody gets a good laugh. Um, there will be another series coming, though, because I love doing this, and, and this is such a fun game. And I think new players need to have a series they can watch for beginning to end. So there's another one coming. Thanks for watching. See you next time. As always, if you like the channel, subscribe. If you like the episode, hit the like button. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. I'll see you guys next time.